Have you ever considered buying a cordless vacuum cleaner, but you're just not sure if they're any good or not? If so, then this video is for you. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on these two vacuum cleaners. One is the Miele CX1 corded vacuum cleaner, and I bought this for around 340 euros. The other one is a Bell Dry cordless vacuum that I recently bought from Lidl for about 70 euros. I'm going to compare the two vacuum cleaners based on their performance in certain areas. To give you a little bit of context, my home is mostly laminate flooring and I have a few mats and carpets throughout. I don't have any dogs inside so I don't have a problem with dog hairs, however I do have small children and a wood burning stove. To begin with, I'm going to start by simulating, you know when the kids all come running in through the back door when they have their wellies on. I'm going to simulate this but I'm going to sprinkle some wet sand on the floor and then I'm going to see how each vacuum performs. I thought in this case that the corded vacuum would way outperform the cordless one, but I actually find neither of them did a great job. The wet sand kept getting stuck to the head of the vacuum. In the end, both of them managed to lift most of the sand. For this one, I'm going to call it a draw. Obviously, there's a huge weight difference between the two vacuum cleaners. Now, I didn't weigh them with, you know, like scales, but I can tell you this, that the cordless vacuum was so much lighter, it just made it so much more convenient to use. So the Beldre cordless vacuum wins. I'm gonna tell you a secret. I hardly ever vacuum my stairs. But do you wanna know why? Because my damn vacuum cleaner is so heavy and cumbersome that it makes this task a health hazard. The cordless vacuum means that these awkward places are hoovered and cleaned in just minutes. The Beldre cordless vacuum wins. What about under the bed then? Well, to be fair, the corded vacuum performed fine in this area. However, the little lights on the front of the cordless vacuum actually proved to be really handy in this scenario. And because it was really lightweight, I could really easily reach right to the back underneath the bed. The little light at the front of the Beldre cordless actually come in really comes in really handy for those dark little corners. The cordless vacuum wins the game. What about over those mats and carpets then? I find the suction on my Miele corded vacuum is so high that it actually makes it really difficult to hoover my carpets and mats. And yes, I know I have the little dialed in order to be able to turn down the suction, but if my mat is only this size, I don't want to be fiddling with my dial in order to change surfaces for a few seconds. I want to be able to roll straight from my hardwood floor onto my mat and back again and not have to adjust anything. And I can actually do that with the cordless vacuum. I love on the Miele website where you have these images and these videos of this beautiful vacuum cleaner in these really elegant homes. But what do they not show you in these images? The one thing that gets in the way the most. The damn cord! I don't know how many times I have to lift the damn heavy thing over the cord. Every time I change direction in my house, the wheels are getting stuck on the cord. In this case, the Miele loses spectacularly. I have previously bought myself one of those handheld vacuum cleaners and this was mostly because after my second child I had all that hair loss. Most of all the hair used to land on the bathroom floor. I know, a bit disgusting. So that's why I wanted a really convenient way of being able to tidy up. But I found that the handheld vacuum that I bought had very little power and very poor battery life. But this Beldre cordless one, I can just take off the extension and I can use it as a handheld option. So it's really good for getting a any awkward shelves, awkward areas along the window ledges and to be able to clean up a quick mess. This is definitely a plus for my cordless vacuum. What's the battery life like then? Well, I was able to hoover my entire downstairs and upstairs of my house, plus record all the B-roll for this video and I still had battery life left. That's plenty for me. So to conclude, am I ready to get rid of my corded vacuum cleaner? Not quite. However, I don't think it's gonna be used much from now on. You can see in my little comparison that the Beldre cordless vacuum cleaner wins by a mile. I would 100% recommend getting yourself a cordless vacuum cleaner. The quicker we can get the housework done, the more time we have to spend on our businesses. 